Hello and welcome. This is James Blanchard Cisneros at your service. Today I will be reading the August 16th Facebook post and making a couple comments on it and I trust that it will assist both of us on our journeys. Here we go. Ending our need to defend ourselves against illusions. A healed mind is relieved of its addiction to judgment and thus of the burden to defend itself. It simply takes the energy of defense and understands it as an opportunity to find out what illusions are still hiding within itself. It then raises these illusions to the surface of the conscious mind, shines the light of understanding on them, and then they are dissolved forever to bother you no more. Then it offers gratitude instead of judgment to that person, place, or thing for having help brought to the awareness of the conscious mind those still small dark illusionary areas within the mind where the ego still reigns as king. Those areas where it's still supported illusions of itself and others as real. Today when the ego knocks at our door with the same type of illusionary sales pitch, we will simply look past its fairy tales, gracefully decline its demands, and let it go on its way. We are all addicted to judgment. For what else would you call something that brings you pain, confusion, chaos, anger, resentment, thoughts of revenge, over and over to your life, to your family's life, to your friends' lives, and to even strangers' lives? It brings us pain and confusion and still, we find it as a logical way to act and interact with our brothers and sisters. One of the things the ego is silently teaching us when it tells us that it's right and honorable to judge others is that we too are worthy of judgment. For if we are free to judge others for what they might say, look like, or do, then obviously the world is free to judge us. And so where does that leave us? It leaves us carrying a sword, a shield, all in an effort to defend ourselves against the world, against the world that continually judges us. How much longer will you choose to behave in this manner? How much longer are we going to choose to carry the weight of this sword and shield around? Today we're going to try another way. Today we're going to use all of the ego's judgmental tools and use it for our own growth and development. Today we remember our truth. We remember that we are and will always be as God's source created us. We are love. We are peace. We are joy. We are compassion. This is who in truth we are. We're simply the extensions of God's source, expressing itself physically on this planet. And so, when the ego insists that we must judge a brother or sister, we will instead stop for a moment and see what it is that we're trying to defend ourselves against. What are we frustrated at? What are we angry at? Why are we frustrated or angry if frustration and anger are not really parts of us? They're simply illusionary parts of us that we have been programmed to believe are real. And so when a brother or sister quote unquote frustrates us or makes us angry, we will know that it's got nothing to do with them, for they are only love. It is our reaction to them. It is not what they do. It is our reaction to what they do and how we react within our minds to their sacred journey. And so when we find ourselves frustrated, we will ask ourselves, am I frustration 
or am I love? Am I anger or am I really love and forgiveness? We will simply continue to realign with the truth in us. We will stop our judgmental thoughts for a moment. We will not judge ourselves for judging others, for that's just another game of the ego plays. Instead, we will take these judgments as a flashlight into our own minds, into the dark areas of our, mi our minds that have been programmed with frustration, with the belief that anger and condemnation and regret are real. And so these individuals who we once judged, now we see them as simply shining a light on our illusions. And when they shine a light on our illusions, we get to see them. We get to bring them to the conscious mind, from the inner mind, to the physical world, and better be able to see them. And better be able to see that these are not us. We are not anger. We are not frustration. We are not thoughts of revenge. And when we see, when we see them manifested in front of us, we recall once again that this is not us. That we are not illusions. That we are the truth in us. And then we realign with the truth in us and offer our brothers and sisters this truth. Instead of anger, we offer them forgiveness. Instead of pain, we offer them peace. Instead of confusion, we offer them clarity. Instead of condemnation, we offer them compassion. And then we offer them gratitude. Gratitude because it was their participation in a life experience that helped bring to our conscious awareness our illusions. And little by little, moment by moment, interaction by interaction, this is how we start to dissolve our own illusions by being conscious, by being in the present moment and with our brothers and sisters' help. So this day can be the start of a brand new life for all of us. And no longer do we need to swim in the swamp of the ego's judgment. We will simply see when we're walking into it and stop and walk into it no more. Just walk around it bless our brothers and sisters, thank them, and once again, experience peace, the truth in us, the truth in all of us. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I love you very much. If you'd be so kind as to comment or like the video, it would help with the listening process and it might help somebody find this video someday. If you'd like to leave me a, a comment or a question, I would be delighted to try and offer a response. And if you could please subscribe to my YouTube videos, I would love to have you in this community. Again, thank you for your time. I love you very much. And God willing, we will see each other tomorrow. Peace.